Want to learn about bones with me today? Follow my lead and try to locate the bones in your body. First, there are bones in your head. There's also bones in your nose. Hmm, and in your chin. Even in our ears, there's soft tissue called cartilage. Arm bones. Leg bones. Ribs. And foot bones. Shall we take a closer look? Excuse me. Here I come. First, the skull. Although the skull appears to be one big bone, it's actually made up of 29 bones. The skull protects the brain. In our head, there are cheekbones. There are also temporal bones. And this is called the collarbone. Is it because it's about where our shirt collar would be? Shoulder blade and humerus. And there's the ulna and radius too. There are lots of bones in our fingers. And ribs. Ribs protect our heart and lungs. And this long bone in the middle is the backbone. The backbone supports our body. This big bone is the pelvis. Thigh bone. Shin bone. And calf bone. In the foot is the heel bone. Wow, there are so many bones in our foot. Okay, friends. Danny has a quick question for you. What part of the body has the most bones? It's the hand. Every joint of the finger is a different bone. The hand is made up of 27 bones. That makes 54 bones for both hands. There are 26 bones in the foot. Then, where's the largest bone in our body? The head? Hand, foot, torso, hips? The answer is the thigh. The thigh bone is the biggest bone in our body. The smallest bone is the state in the ears. It's as small as a grain of rice. Wow, it's cool that our bones are all different sizes. But why are there so many bones? It's because bones support our entire body. Without bones, Donnie's body would be squirmy like this. I'd be like an octopus. But if we can't see our bones, how in the world do they move? Let me show you. Ta-da! It's Skeleton Donny. Donny will show you how our bones move. First, the arm and finger bones. If you hold the arms like this, you can even move the fingers. Wavy, wavy. Bones can move like this, too. Ooh. Let's see how the legs move. Raise the knees. Let's move the leg bones. Raise your hand and crosswalk. Running. And skating. Zip, zip. And lying flat on the bed. Wow. But we need more than just bones to move. We also need muscles to help the bones. Why don't we take a look and see how the muscles help the bones? Ta-da! I made hands for you to see how they work. Watch how the fingers move carefully. I'll put my fingers in... like this. And I'll pull the fingers as the finger muscles move. Pull... Wow, they move! I can move them however I want. I'll make a fist and open it. This is super cool. 
it might be able to pick something up. I'll use this hand to pick up objects. Now, use the fingers. Wow, I picked up tissue. Whoa, very effective. Now, a paper cup. Ooh, it worked. Ooh, it worked. Ooh. Can I pick up a dinosaur? The dinosaur looks heavy. Oh, oh, it worked! Because we have bones and muscles, we can touch our head, play with toys, eat, sleep, and have fun! I'm so thankful for them! Enough! Oh.